Do you have hours that are silent that you feel need to be filled with fun banter? Have a long car trip and a radio that only plays strange indie podcasts found on YouTube? Or how about a grandmother that hates spending time with you unless you are listening to a podcast about holidays? Well, if some, all, or none of these apply to you, check out Tuesday is the New Thursday, a new podcast on YouTube. The world-famous Tom Izzo and Tim Donaldson discuss ways to enhance your everyday Tuesday life. Tom Izzo? Doesn't he coach the Michigan State Spartans basketball team? He sure does! Tim Donaldson? Any relation to Josh Donaldson, the 2015 AL MVP? Could be! Check out Tuesday's The New Thursday, today! From pina coladas to mojitos, welcome to the third episode of Tuesday is the New Thursday, the podcast that makes your aimless Tuesday into a day of celebration. Sitting across from me is my co-host, radio star and domino lover, Tom Izzo, and I'm your co-host, Tim Donaldson. I ate Indian food last night. The delivery guy fell over. Hi, Tom. Hey, Tim. (laughs) How's it going? Pretty good. So, uh, tell me more about this uh, Indian food delivery driver. Yeah, he, he drove... And, like, he came up to the house. And he fell over. And he fell over and, like, fell on my Indian food. W- was it ruined or did he still eat it? <laughs> no, no. I still ate it. I felt bad for the guy, but I did a really weird thing where, um, where, like, I had, I had $15 out, but it was, like, a 10 and 5 ones, and I knew that it came out to, like, $11, and... He tripped and fell, and I I said, how much was it? And he went, oh, it was like $11, and I took a dollar out of the bush, and he oh, went, <laughs> yeah, which I felt, oh, man. Which I felt oh, bad so about. Because no, you should have seen, like, as yeah. soon as he started tripping, just remove $2 and, like, stuff it into <laughs> yeah. your pocket. I know, that's what I should have done, but I'm like, I, I made it seem like it was part of the trip, but I was actually, like, wanted to just save money. It's, well, I mean, also, it was he also, fell on the food. He did fall on the no, food. That's, and... that's, uh, that's bad, that's bad service it's the worst service but he's very happy to see me yeah i got i know some Mm -hmm. former food delivery people who Mm -hmm. uh if they ever did that i don't think they would ever expect a tip and and be insulted to get one yeah would would spit in people's food (laughs) if they got a tip (laughs) tip. uh that's that's those delivery drivers um okay so so yeah so we have a special holiday today we do we do Mm -hmm. i'm very excited for it yeah um do you want to no one knows what it is yet Um, i know yeah a lot lot of people have been uh emailing us uh, and asking us like oh what's the next holiday can't wait for the next holiday yeah and uh we we've kept it a a tight mouth secret yeah only only uh, you know it i know it um, and a, and a little, little little friend, a little friend known as Nelson Mandela. <laughs> no, yeah, <laughs> who we, meaning just me and Tom knew because because he he died. So um, happy Nelson Mandela, Mandela Day. Day! Yeah, um, yeah. So he's turning ninety nine today. Ah, yeah. Well, uh, well, <laughs> kind of. Yeah, he would have. He would have been turning if he were still alive. Yeah. And uh, we know what you're thinking. You're thinking, hey, don't you guys only do drinking podcasts? No. No. This is not a drinking podcast show. That was a total coincidence. Those are the only holidays. Well, yeah. On those days. So far. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Like like the past Tuesday and and the Monday Mm. before that, it was just like... Oh, it's it's a mojito day, and, and <laughs> but like you, you can't get around it. It's 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 not like we had a choice. No, and I mean we we would choose any other hot like if it was be good to your uh, to your liver day to your liver day. <laughs> we would have celebrated that over any alcohol day. Uh, absolutely. You know? In fact, uh, Tim and I, I, I think I could speak for both of us. Yeah. We, we hate drinking. Definitely, unless we have to. Which would be if a holiday. Demands, happens, demands that you drink you know and right. you can't not drink on pina colada day that's rule number one right about pina colada day and, and mojitos and so mojito day. well it's rule number two for mojitos yeah, yeah rule yeah, number one for mojitos is is uh, make a good mojito <laughs> yeah <laughs> which which we didn't follow 
<laughs> no, we, we broke rule number one, but we followed rule number two to the mm-hmm. T. Right? To yeah, it, it was yeah. it was a great day. Um, but anyway, um, let's let's get some Mandela facts, okay? We're, to prove that we're not alcoholics, um, we're we're gonna um talk to you about his favorite drink, which was an alcoholic. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, it was a Marhu, you know. I've never heard of it before. Looked it up. Um, it's a non-alcoholic Southern African drink. Um, but it's not at the local stop and shop. So Tom and I are drinking. Well, Mandel was also a wine enthusiast. <laughs> okay. Very big wine Very, enthusiast. Yeah. So in order to properly celebrate Nelson Mandela Day, we have a lovely, um, bottle of Mark West, uh, vintage 2014, uh, Pinot Noir. <laughs> Ah, oh. my favorite. <laughs> and we would not, we would not be drinking this unless we had, to. <laughs> unless we had to. But okay. we, we couldn't get his his first favorite drink. Yeah, it's so not we in the stop and shop. <laughs> yeah, he's a wine enthusiast. So naturally. Got, uh, naturally, and we can't just sit here and not drink anything for the whole. Right, like, you know. Our, our, you see, when when you talk into a microphone, as long as we do. Uh, your mouth starts to get dry, mm-hmm. so you, you got to make sure to keep it moist with with a nice wine <laughs> or or any liquid or like a marhu if we had if, it. If we had a marhu, <laughs> yeah. uh, but ironically enough, the uh, the tannins in wine mm-hmm. actually make your mouth drier. <laughs> Oh, but, yeah, but but we keep on drinking. We, so, so you gotta continuously. Yeah, because drink the wine a, a microphone a microphone is like a vacuum. You know, yeah. and it's it's constantly sucking up all of the, you know, liquid, the vapor that's all around you. And what's the closest liquid and vapor to a microphone? Your, m- Your mouth, mouth vapor. <laughs> yeah, saliva. Yeah. Um, yeah. So um, so that that's why we are drinking wine right now. Um, it's it's been a uh, delicious. Um, it, it's uh, concentrated. It's got a nice aroma. Oh, you know, absolutely! Uh, very good dense. Like if, you, if you look at the legs, like mm-hmm. like right now, you can't see this, but I'm swirling the wine, and yeah, the mine's legs over here right now. are mm-hmm. uh, falling down at a somewhat uh, quick pace, which which means uh, that uh, it's it's a little heavier in alcohol than other wines. I, I can't I can't swirl it like you. Ah, uh, it's, well, it's, it uh, takes it takes practice. You yeah, might want to put it on the base of the table, and then yeah, there, uh, there you go. There that makes goes. it a little bit easier. Yeah, yeah. 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 Nice. Yeah, so it's it's nice, uh, full bodied red wine. Mm. Um, very good. Yeah. Very uh, yeah, dense. A little uh, a little, little hint of a uh, berry. Ooh. Ooh. Would, would you say that like mm. earthy, earthy tones? I I would really say vintage. Ah, very vintage. <laughs> yeah, very. You know, aged aged well since two thousand fourteen to now. It's been uh, absolutely like what what yeah. what a what a what a vintage yeah <laughs> okay so more Mandela effects yes uh, he was born ninety nine years ago today <laughs> mention that <laughs> but uh, yeah uh, so next year will be the big one hundo anniversary right but and, and uh, n- next year. Uh... We'll be here to celebrate it, but uh, we, mm-hmm. we probably won't redo the day because we it will be on a Wednesday. <laughs> uh, that's a good point. Yeah, 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 that is right? a good point. That... The way years like uh, adjust. Isn't it always fashion. a day unless it's a leap year? Unless then I think it's, it's two year. years, two days. Is is next year leap year? Um, it, it falls on like a zero. Is next year is or well sometimes sometimes it falls on the zeros. Well, it's when... like what every like four years. It's every four years. So... Um. When was the last leap year? Um, so it falls on some of the zeros. So it was Naturally. either, <laughs> yeah. So it was either um, two thousand. So it would have been on two thousand or two thousand ten, which means if it was in two thousand and ten, it would have been. It will be next year. It will be next year. But if, if it, it was, was two thousand, then, then it would be two thousand twenty. Right. Okay. Right. So. Uh, All right. Mm-hmm. Wait, so when was last? So it. It was either last year or it's mm-hmm. next year. Yes. Yes. It's either last... <laughs> and I don't think it was last year. So it must be next it year. It must be next year. Ah, so so this will be... to an exciting so Thursday, <laughs> Mandela 100th birthday. Oh, that's going to be an incredible Thursday. Oh, we might have to do a bonus episode. Oh, we, I think Thursday is the new Tuesday. Because we'll be so popular. Tuesdays will be yeah, so... Yeah, Tuesdays will be the new Thursday. Exactly. That we'll so have, to we have to adjust. Tone up. 
Thursdays to get to get the bell. I mean, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, we'll have to we'll have to adjust with a couple of bonus episodes on mm-hmm. Thursday. We're gonna have to so, really vamp up the whole week, you know. Oh yeah. When, once Tuesday's gone through the roof, you know, we're gonna be going to Thursday. Then Every we'll day will be Wednesday. miserable, <laughs> except for Tuesdays yeah. by comparison. Yeah. yeah. So we'll vamp up. Yeah. Suicides will probably be up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but we're that's thinking about the. the consequences of our <laughs> podcast here no it's fine it's fine you know it'd be like a, th- at least they had a laugh be, no. yeah, I, I guess so yeah if they were such a diehard fan <laughs> of our podcast that you kill yourself because it's not tuesday then by god <laughs> You're number one. You're, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm you're, the fan. Yeah, yeah. You're like but, but we know honorary you're not, no, 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 top no, no, of the yeah, line. No, list. you're not. You, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say because I don't want someone to kill them. Like, no, you, no, you, don't you, kill you, yourself yeah. to be on the top of the list. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. if you do, if you kill, out of respect for your death, you will be on the top of the right, list. Right. But if if you killed yourself to be number one on the list. Then, then you're on the bottom. Oh yeah, like if if in your suicide note it's like I need to be number one fan. Yeah, then well, maybe I mean that's like last will and testament. Like we, we no, gotta make you well, number one fan. I I think that that person it, shit. It's I like illegal to not make them number one fan. <laughs> no, I mean, look, we we stated the rules. We stated the rules right now. All right, they gotta All right, <laughs> listen so to you, the rules. Unless you die naturally, you cannot mm. leave in your will and testament that you want to be our number one fan yes uh oh yeah you have to do it the hard way or kill yourself uh for your own reasons i guess yeah and <laughs> and, and just don't let anyone yeah don't podcast. let it <laughs> and then we'll make you number one fan and it will be great you'll uh you'll you'll be number one well it wouldn't be a great big loophole here <laughs> yeah. it, it's so easy to kill yourself to be number one fan just yeah. as long as you don't mention it prior but we'll we'll, we'll do a thorough investigation. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll ask friends and family if you mentioned it to anybody at all. So like you better a stranger never... at a subway. Like we're gonna talk to everybody about whether you killed yourself. Yeah, to be um, our number one fan. Yeah, so definitely don't do that. Yeah, well, we'll do that because we want to know the truth. Hopefully, hopefully your Tuesdays are getting better. Okay. Uh, we, we, Nelson Mandela is from South Africa. Yes. Right. Yes. Um, so great, great guy. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Um, that is also a key location that ships used to pass when making their way around the continent of Africa. That's true. Um, so I think it's time for this week's episode of Pirate Cove, a fan favorite. So uh, here we go. Uh, all right. Ahoy. Today, we have a little pirate um, known as Black Caesar. Um, So, uh, he's African, you know? Again, I'm keeping the theme that these pirates are going to relate to the actual holiday. Um, Okay. Are you you excited to hear about uh, Black Caesar? Uh, Yeah. Uh, let's, Let's learn all about him. Okay, so he served as one of Captain Blackbeard's crewmen aboard the Queen Anne's Revenge. Uh, Black Caesar was a prominent African tribal war chieftain. Um, he was known for his huge size, immense strength, and keen intelligence. Um, Caesar was finally captured when he and 20 of his warriors were lured onto a ship by a slave trader. He escaped captivity. He would sink his boats in shallow water, uh, when people were close to capturing him. Uh, then he would pump out the water, uh, and sail off, um, because he was smart. I mentioned that he was intelligent. Um, it is thought that he and his men buried 26 bars of silver on the island, although no treasure has ever been recovered from any islands by that was buried by Black Caesar. I, I left out that part. So he's, he's he buried pirate, or he buried treasure. He is a pirate. Um, he sees a hundred women from passing ships, like a like a horrible pirate. And what what happens to the horrible pirates? 
Did he did he get hanged? He got hanged in 1718 and is dead in Williamsburg before it was the United States. Arr. Uh, yeah, <laughs> scary stuff. Uh, okay, that was uh, Pirate's Cove. Alright, uh, so that, that was... <laughs> Dude. Oh, man. Like, like... I, I mean, if, if you put more effort... Like, like you, you had, like, some information. I, honestly, it was better than last week's, but it was still terrible, like... I, I, I put see, so much more work into this. I can see this. the Wikipedia page printout. <laughs> I put so much work into it. this. Like you, you read it verbatim. Like I thought you were going to shut use up, it, like, like cliff notes, <laughs> dude. But you literally read it verbatim. Look at this. Look at these hand notes. No, Look yeah, I, I see that. And no, I, it was, <laughs> like you, you didn't talk. Like how did he escape captivity? Like, how does it make sense that he would sink his ships and then re, like, emerge them? Dude, to it escape? says it all in these does, notes. Well, it, does it, it these well researched. Like, can you at least read look, the full look, segment? I'm not. No. Look, these people have limited time listening to our podcast. <laughs> And and they only want the bullet points, you know. Pirates haven't aged as well as no, I, like other things. Pirates have aged. There's been five Pirates of the Caribbean movies, and there's no sign of them slowing down. Unfortunately, <laughs> like pirates are kick ass. Everyone loves pirates, not when they're like talked about in some shitty way. Look, well, that's your opinion. Uh, I think a lot of people are gonna write into our show saying how good Pirates Cove is. All right, all right, please. Either don't write into our show about Pirates Cove, or write into to us about how bad it is, and, and we will remove it. Like I, th- I honestly <laughs> no, think we shouldn't. Do no, it like, no, next, this is the week. segment that holds the show. I'm not removing Pirates. It, show. It's always I, so random. Like, what does this have to do with Nelson Mandela? <laughs> that no, he's black. He, no, he's African. That he's from Africa. He's from Africa. Africa. There's a lot of he's things going on South in Africa. Africa. He's not even. No. Is he from South Africa? Pirates Cove is part of the show. Pirates. Why? There's no reason for it to be part of the show. It has nothing to do with Holly. Pirates are really thrilling when done right, you know? Alright, that's a fair point. <laughs> okay. But I'm, it just isn't done right. Okay, okay. Give me another... I, I'm i gonna kick ass at Pirates Cove next week. You are gonna be blown away. Alright. This is gonna be an incredible... Alright, speaking of that, do you, let's uh, get uh, the music set for uh, Pirates and Politics. Uh, yeah, so I I don't have anything for what? piracy and politics. You're making fun of me for, like, <laughs> my freaking research, and you don't even have anything prepared. Are no, you it's, kidding it's me? No, it's not that I don't have anything prepared. Last week, it was a stretch. Like, the, the piracy, mm-hmm. like, political party, like, it has nothing to do with pirates. Mm-hmm. It has, like, a- anything that you look up about modern-day piracy, it, except for Somalia, like, it has to do with, like... See, this is why I have Pirates Cove. This is why Pirates Cove is a great segment. No, I this think we will should never remove run Pirates out. and Politics. <laughs> Wait, we're removing... Oh, I, I, okay. think, I, th- I think we should remove both. No! <laughs> no, we'll All keep right. Pirates Cove. Uh, if, well, it, I, look, Pirates and Politics is your segment. You can do what you want with your segment. Uh, but I, I'm pro-keeping as many pirates as we can. Alright, well, either way, that's the end of... Pirates and politics. All right, so this is the last ever segment this of pirates and politics. S- yeah, segment of pirates and politics. <laughs> All right, uh, so I, I, I guess mm-hmm. as an olive branch. All right, a little piracy related fact. Sure, is uh, South Africa. Also is the home of a Cape Hope, where there's a especially dangerous waters. So if you're a pirate, watch yourself. Are we reopening? Sailing over there. Are we? No, bringing... it's over. We're, we're done. <laughs> okay. We're done. Okay. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> well, that's good. So hopefully that, that'll, that'll be the last of Pirates Cove. 
no, 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 no. Pirates, Pirates, Politics. Pirates Cove will be back next week. For... If you email us, <laughs> well, no, 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 no. You can get rid of Pirates Cove before next week. All right, look, if if no one emails, which I mean, we've been getting so many. I don't know. We why. have been, yeah. but none relating to Pirates Cove. No, no, no. Well, well, they didn't know to email about Pirates Cove. No, yeah. You know, they've well, been like, like, oh, your show's so funny. You know, yeah. All yeah, the, like, all the. Oh, you, you suck. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, exactly. I, I, you suck at not saying facts about politics. That's what. Oh, yeah. And pirates. Yeah, that's what. I mean, that, that's that's what you said to, <laughs> yeah. to cheer me up. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. That's what I yeah, imagine. It really kind of got under my skin, actually. Yeah. Like, like Sally X two four. If you're listening, fuck you. <laughs> well, just, just, no, just no, no, eat no, no, a dick. No, 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 I'm sorry. No, you're Sally's right, you know. okay. Um, okay. No, it's like suck like the microphone, like how it sucks oh, yeah, all, the, uh, all the vapor. No, mm-hmm. but really, like fuck you. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, well, um, anyway. Uh, again, it's Nelson Mandela Day. Yeah. Um, we got a lot of Mandela things. Yeah, yeah, um, that's true. Prepared for today. Like, uh, have you ever heard of the Mandela effect? Uh, like so, the the effect of kindness amongst human beings. No, no, like uh, right. that's just a bunch of nonsense. Uh, the Mandela <laughs> effect mm-hmm. is actually like a really interesting theory that you, you know, like uh, the multiple worlds theory. Yeah. Like, if you ever yeah, watch mostly. Rick and Morty, like, like they mm-hmm. play around with that theory a lot, like, going through, like, different universes and that sort sure. of thing. Sure, or Back to the Future, I guess, would have to that's, that, too. No, it's, it's our world, just forward and back. But, uh, but like, it changes, you know what I mean? Oh, I guess the, because of the things that, okay. Like going, whatever. yeah. The, although... But wouldn't there have to be theory, multiple universes in that, right? Yeah, there is a theory that if you go back in time and change history... Mm-hmm. You're just creating a split world. Oh, like Back to the Future too. You're yeah, absolutely yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. He draws the, it on the chalkboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's uh, similar. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. so the Mandela theory, because mm-hmm. uh, uh, some of you, like, like let, me, let me ask you, viewers, um, or listeners rather, how how did Nelson Mandela die? Was it well? If you answered in prison. Then, Believe it or not, you're wrong. Yeah, then you suffered but, from... Yeah, you suffer from the Mandela effect. So the theory is worlds are colliding and are... Like, you may be transported without your knowledge into a different world that's virtually the same except for minor details, such as when and where did Nelson Mandela die. So, like, okay. uh, in our world, mm-hmm. he died after being released from prison. Uh, but in a previous world that some of us may have come from, mm-hmm. you may think that he died in prison. Like, a lot of people are believe that fact. I, I'm one of them. I, I think I've been brought from a different world. Because, honestly, I, I believe that Nelson Mandela originally died in prison. So, you... Wait, but he, he didn't die in prison, though. Well, not in this world. <laughs> okay. All right, but... Wait, so you're remembering... Uh, in my... In your mind, my, you're remembering things from my a... My infallible mind, because... Uh, <laughs> because, like, a lot of people remember it that way. I'm not the only one. Mm. So, therefore... Like, it, there has to be something to it. Like, like... like mm. All right, let, let me ask you this, listeners. Uh, um... Did you ever read the Berenstain Bears book? I okay. Well, how is, is it a... spelled? Did you think? <laughs> did you? Did you think it was B A R E S T E I N? I know I do. But take a look at one of your old uh, Berenstain Bear books. And uh, you'll notice it's S T A I N, like stain on a shirt, not stain as in steam. Like like. So because because something was written in a weird way, or l- let the, me let me ask there's you this. multiple universes. No uh, no no, it, it was it was different at one point, and now it's no longer that way. Oh, it's bullshit. Right, let okay. me ask you this, Tim. Mm, yeah. <clears throat> uh, Back to the Future. Yes. No, great example. I'm glad you brought it up before because mm-hmm. this is a perfect example of the Nelson Mandela effect. Um, so, in mm-hmm. the first one, 
Yeah, McFly. So, so spoiler alerts if you haven't seen the first Back to the Future. Yeah, skip. Uh, yeah, skip to yeah. later. Yeah. To after I finish talking about this. Yeah, and and also don't listen to the previous comment about Back to the Future too. Oh or, well, yeah, no, yeah. I mean that that one that doesn't spoil anything. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah. They, they toy with the topic, but you don't know in what way or how. Like, anyway, okay. So the first one, mm-hmm. when uh, the Libyans come, yes, and shoot Doctor Emmett Brown mm-hmm. with the machine gun. Okay. Uh, what vehicle are they driving? A Volkswagen. Damn right. Yeah. But there was a period of time that it changed. Mm-hmm. To a different vehicle, not a Volkswagen, but like just an unmarked vehicle mm-hmm. uh, that looked entirely different, but it only changed for a few like months, like and then it changed back. Wait, because uh, wait, the how do you prove this? Well, some like if when uh when it happened, everyone online mm-hmm. was just like, oh, watch Back to the Future again. It's a totally different vehicle, and and I watched it. In that time, and it when was, was this? It was like uh, last year. It was last year. It was last year mm-hmm. during like, like the middle of March, like end of March. And you like put a DVD like in? I, I put my copy mm-hmm. of Back to the Future in. It was a different vehicle. So so it was a different vehicle. It, and then you watched it like in December. Yeah, and it changed back. And it was I, back, it was to, back to the Volks- Volkswagen. I looked it up, and everyone's like, "What the hell? It changed back." I swear to God, it was Tom, a different. This field. is ridiculous. Look it you're, up, Tom. You're making fun of Pirates Cove. Look it Pirates up. Pirates Cove it's is a, a real thing. Is a <laughs> beloved, established. Are you serious? And you're no, no. At least this comment. has to do with Nelson Mandela. <laughs> no, Africa. <laughs> Africa. Oh, Africa. Oh, there's look, a lot of people in Africa. It's not my fault that pirates are. You know, Pirates Cove is, is an established the part of the effect, show. Not Black Caesar. <laughs> no, look, look. Okay. Nelson Mandela wasn't a pirate. He didn't even live during the high times of pirates. Okay. Well, I think this segment is bullshit. I, I think, think we should replace Pirates Cove with Conspiracy Corner. <laughs> what, dude? Okay, no, no! So, like, every week I'll come up with a conspiracy relating to uh, the holiday of the week. All right. And there's right. so okay. many conspiracies okay. out I, there. I have, I have a solution. Pirates Cove is coming back next week. But here's here's the... But so is Conspiracy Corner. Okay. And we're going to have okay. a world series of segments. <laughs> so, so there it could be a potential seven games, but the first to four wins wins the when it gets their segment on the show forever you know pirates cove will be here forever because it's gonna win in four you know you're gonna get four of these conspiracy corners include not including today's and then pirates cove is here to stay okay because i believe in and then we'll have the fans right in but starting next week we've we're, we're gonna have com- the world series of segments is starting is that fair fair gentleman's agreement all right that, that's fair that's fair. okay so but but let me just continue to say mm-hmm. there's several movies with with quotes okay that like everyone remembers wrong and it's because the movie was different before or because like be, do you remember makes... uh, wizard have you seen wizard of oz yes i have did you ever remember the scarecrow having a gun because <laughs> no, he, he, no, he does he does watch the movie when the flying monkeys comes out he pulls out a freaking magnum like when did that happen? When I was a kid, he didn't have a magnum. Look, now he has a magnum. What he and does he use the magnum? No, he never fires it. He but he pulls it out. So it's like when it, did he get a magnum? So couldn't it just be that we didn't notice it? No, because <laughs> by God, I would have seen something like that. Like you would have picked that up as a kid. I probably. I like, don't remember a lot of things. For, I just forgot about the monkeys until you mentioned them. No, well, fair enough. But mm-hmm. like, if once again, go online. Mm-hmm. Look at Reddit. There's a lot of people who say like that Magnum was definitely not there before. Mm-hmm. Can everyone on Reddit be wrong? All right. Well, this is this is bullshit. Um, <laughs> I mean, I, I'll, I'm I'll sorry. To the, I, no, no, Pirates up. Cove Pirates is, Cove is, goddamn is brilliant. Pirates Cove is. I mean, okay. Look, we're, we'll we'll come back. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna calm down. Okay. And we'll, we'll get back on track with Nelson Mandela. 
right. Well, we already were because we were talking about the Mandela. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll be back. Are you into obscure underground music? Uh, are you looking for something to spice up your music repertoire? Well, then you should get a record of the best of the monkeys. They include great hits like We Are the Monkeys and Day Dream Believer. <laughs> Please buy this at your earliest convenience. <laughs> Hello, happy, uh, welcome back, happy Nelson Mandela Day, that's right, Nelson Mandela was born 99 years ago today, a real Hong Kong of a day, it sure was, <laughs> or, or a Panama Canal for that matter, <laughs> Oi. Yeah. <laughs> right, yeah, well, yep, good stuff, right, okay, uh, so it is Tuesday today. It is. Uh, so we have uh, good old Tuesday trivia for you today. Uh, we do it every Tuesday. Yep. Okay. <laughs> so today is an odd episode. So um, I'm doing the trivia today. Yep. Um, so so anyway, Clint Eastwood. I, I thought of a new no lateral thinking puzzle today. Um, we're doing a completely new game. Okay. Um, so Clint Eastwood made a 2009 movie starring <laughs> Morgan Freeman as Nelson Mandela called Invictus. Ah, nice. Which you have never seen, Tom. I have never seen it. Okay, that's Do great. I no, 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 no. That would have ruined the whole game. Okay. okay. So, um, anyway, so, uh, Clint Eastwood makes very, or what I find to be very schlocky, very million dollar baby man i okay i've never seen million dollar baby <laughs> that, that was and i've never seen gran torino so I, i've never seen gran torino either but, but from what i've seen it was, was surprisingly good <laughs> okay from what i've seen from mystic river to sully to uh, sully uh, you didn't like sully <laughs> oh okay look look we're, we're saving it for invictus today all right all right uh this is this is clint eastwood prevent presents no, 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 he doesn't prevent this. Clint Eastwood presents Cornfest. Um, all right, so I'm going to tell you some scenes from Invictus. I'm going to read to you some dialogue. Oh, spoilers. Okay, spoilers <laughs> for anyone who wants... You know what? Just listen to our game. <laughs> I've never seen it. I don't want to look. Oh, me. you're you're having the whole movie. Unfortunately, right. Tom is gonna. I'll I'll have to survive. Yeah, I, yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah. Sully wasn't that good. Sully was. We'll get into Sully one week. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, so I'm gonna read to you um some of the lines from the movie. Okay. And then you're gonna have to. Then you're gonna kind of guess uh what what the follow up line is. Okay, so so I'm gonna give you a little bit of background. Um, Nelson Mandela was in prison, and then he came. He was released out of prison and was elected South African president. Um, so, and the whites are the minority in Africa, even though they run the country, and but the blacks want Mandela to run the country for them. So, uh, so anyway, there's a main body bodyguard in the movie called Jason. And he's a worry ward, and he thinks that Mandela is going to be assassinated in every scene of the movie. Okay. Okay. So they're going out one morning, and um, and there's this really sketchy van that pulls up, and and they're they're going for like the morning jog, and a guy comes out of the van, and what do you think he does? Um, tries to kidnap Nelson Mandela. Well, that's what it's set up as, but he's just a newspaper delivery man. You know, he throws, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, classic red herring. Yeah, exactly. And he just throws a newspaper down, <laughs> and uh, it, the headlines in the African language, the South Africanus. I didn't know that it was called that until I looked it up. And um, uh, uh, Mandela says, "Well, what does it say?" And then Jason reads the headline to the president. What does the headline say? Uh, at this point, 
Can I, can I ask you a question? Yeah, absolutely. So at this point, has Nelson Mandela been elected? He's been elected, okay. yeah. So he's the president so of the country. Nelson Mandela is president. <laughs> okay. It, it does, say, kind of. Yeah, I mean, he's like just been elected. It says, he can win an election, but can he run a country? Ah, oh, one of those papers. One of those good old... That doesn't, like, talk about news, but talks about <laughs> stupid shit. Yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> That's vital to the plot of... Uh, Invictus. Um, okay, so then um, on the other side of the movie, there's a like a B plot. Uh, there's uh, there's a Pi- Pinar is played by Matt Damon, who's the head of the who's captain of the South African rugby team. Okay. Okay, and um, so he this the team's called the uh, the Springboks. Okay, that's the South African rugby team name. And he's the captain, and the team isn't very good, but they're hosting the Rugby World Cup in 1995. For 1995, they're hosting it, but it's like 1994. And um, so his team just had a crushing defeat after the, in the locker room before the ru- Rugby World Cup has taken place. Okay, and so I'm going to read for you a little they, bit of the scene. They had a crushing defeat in the locker room? Or they had a crushing defeat, and this is the locker room after uh, the game. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, thanks. And, um, so, so his teammate takes a big swig of beer and he says, these taste like cuck. Uh, and, uh, then... <laughs> this is such a Clint Eastwood film. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. And then, uh, then, uh, Matt Damon picks one up and he goes, it's not the beer. And he, he picks up a case of beers and he goes to the angry spring box and he says, take another to the one who, like, threw out the beer. And he says, everybody take a beer. This is an order. The entire team takes a beer, including me. <laughs> okay. okay. And then he goes, a toast. Raise the beers to the taste of defeat. Okay. And he goes, drink it, remember it, and promise yourself never to taste it again. All right. Then everyone takes a drink. And what does he say? Tastes like cock. You got it. <laughs> really? <laughs> He goes, these do taste like cock. <laughs> All right. And then, and then, and then the whole team, um, then there's a shot, a brilliant cut of everyone throwing their beer against a wall. And there's just like 85, like no one's in this shot, but it's just like 85 beer cans just getting thrown up against the wall. And you can just see Clint Eastwood being like, we need more beer cans. <laughs> we need more beer cans. There's not enough fucking beer cans. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, um, okay, there, here's another one. Morgan Freeman says to Matt Damon after, uh, South Africa has miraculously won the 1995 World Cup. Spoilers! Uh, spoilers for this segment. Um, skip ahead if you don't want to know the ending where South Africa wins the World Cup, so skip ahead. Um, anyway, uh, so Morgan Freeman says, uh, to Matt Damon, he goes, I want to thank you for what you have done to our country. And what does Matt Damon say to Morgan Freeman? He says, I want to thank you for what you've done for our country. Two out of three, Tom. Oh, <laughs> nice! Two out of three. <laughs> Nailed it. Okay, so anyway, oh my just God. proving the fucking schlock that comes out of this guy's films. Okay. Um, well, once again, I've, I've never seen the film. Yeah. <laughs> no, you got one part wrong. I mean, if that... I mean, uh, you definitely have never seen the film. Anyway, um, I do have um, another thing. Um, these are two scenes from the movies. And um, so I, I, I wouldn't mind. I would like you to read this one, Tom. And okay. this one, this one is actual. Li- this is the meeting of uh, the first ever meeting. Mel- Mandela calls for the Rugby World Cup captain, Matt Damon, to come to his office. And I eventually, th- this starts off regular. And eventually I've added my own schlock to the point where I think it gets a little bit ridiculous, but I want you to say, okay, this is now where you've edited it. Okay. okay. And I want you to, okay. So I'll, I'll read this. I'll, are we going to read this together? Or like... uh, do you want us to read it together? Well, no, nah, I'm just asking like, what, what did you have in mind? Um, I, I was like, imagining. Are we, we going to be characters or am I just going to read this? Uh, can you kind of, I know that you're, I mean, I'll read it with you if you uh, want. So I'll, I'll be 
two characters. I'll, I'll change up my voice. Or I, I could. I, I, it's just that we're sitting across from each other. No, I I, could it'll come, be tough to look. You know, I, I was thinking about printing out two and yeah, doing I mean, what it. What a but, waste of paper. But what we a waste save of paper. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. If Nelson yeah. Mandela taught us anything, it, it was to be good at acting. Yep. Because <laughs> the, the two voices. Because the two voices, so that you can save paper and save the planet. You know, and that's why he told you to be good at acting. That's why Tom Cruise is the is the savior. Leo, his Oscar speech is saving the planet. Okay, do you want to get started? So, um, do I read the Mandela's manners would not be out of place in Victorian England? Uh, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. If that. that's okay. Uh, okay, and, uh, so this is Mandela. Mm-hmm. How do you take your tea, friend Soyce? Friend Coy? <laughs> and, and this is Pinar. Why, why is he called friend, friend Coy? Uh, I think that might be his first name. Uh, oh, okay. And this is Pinar. Or his uh, last name. Milk and sugar, please. Mandela pours tea for both of them. On Pinar, as just for a moment he realizes that here he is with the president pouring him a cup of tea. The English have given us many things, including rugby, but afternoon tea is one of the greatest. Mandela hands Pinar the cup, the teacup. Thank you, sir. Both men have big hands, fine china dwarfed and threatened. In the exact moment that both their hands hold the same saucer, Mandela looks Pinar in the eye. You have a very difficult job. I do. I sell gas brace. (laughs) Mandela lets go and Pinar takes the tea. Captain of the Springboks, a very difficult job. Not compared to yours, sir. Ah, but then nobody is trying to tear my head off while I'm doing mine. Pinar grins. True. (laughs) It is not so difficult to get people to do their best, and I imagine that anybody who plays for their country does their best almost automatically. Or they wouldn't be chosen in the first place. Yes, but get people to be better than that? (laughs) Better than they think they can be? Now that is difficult, I find. Yes, sir, it is. How do we do that? By example? To an extent. But there is more to it than that. Inspiration, perhaps. Pinar is engrossed. That is a master lesson on leadership. (laughs) From a master. Wait, so... <laughs> did, did you add in these? No, it's, it's so not added You found so these, far. like, scripts? This is, a, this, is the, this is the Invictus script that I've printed out. Okay, And okay. I have not edited this so far. So all of, like, these, like... All of these things have been the actual dialogue. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, this is a master lesson on leadership. <laughs> from a master... <laughs> oh, okay, okay. All right, keep moving All on. Right, moving on. How do we inspire ourselves to greatness when nothing less will do? How do we inspire everyone around us? How do we inspire Pinar? <laughs> Long pause. Pinar knows to keep quiet. Mm-hmm. On Robin Island, when things were very hard, I found inspiration in a poem. A poem? A Victorian poem. Just words, but they helped me to stand when all I wanted was to lie down. But you don't come all this way to hear an old man talk about things that make no sense. Flashback on Mandela sitting alone in a prison cell reading. No, they make a lot of sense, sir. (laughs) Oh, wow. I remember the day of my first test match in the bus on the way to the... Stadium, nobody talks. Yes, yes. Everybody is preparing. Oh, man. <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah. It's, this is now your yeah, part, right? This is now my, my part that I, I didn't Honestly, really... if it wasn't for the fact that I'm on the last page, I, I would have I mean, yes, yeah. kept on going. <laughs> the captain of our team stood up and told the bus driver put on a song he had chosen, a theme song. One we all know. We listen together and it helps. Pinar is sitting in silence with team. 
The two flashbacks overlap. Both men sh- shed a tear facing each other. Yeah, I got a little bit of a deal. We need inspiration. <laughs> Brown African eyes, blue African eyes meet over the cups of their cups of All tea. Alright, I wanna I wanna I wanna tell you something special about this. I then I then this was too good a section. This is the actual screenplay again. Uh, oh my it was God. it was too good. <laughs> wait, wait. So brown African eyes, yes. blue African eyes meet over their mm. cups of tea. Mm. You know, I was wondering why like Pinar is even a character, and now I realize it's to to do with the racial thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's right. Because in order to build our nation, we all need to exceed our own expectations. Something passes between them. Whatever it is has a profound impact on Pinar. Yes, sir, we probably do. So so that ending, that was... Uh, that was real. That was real. That was real. The uh, the flashback... Once it gets to the flashback, that's where it's... So the first flashback. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That, that's yeah, when that's you take where over. it's very... Oh, uh, that flashback fake. was hilarious. <laughs> it was... Yeah. Uh, all, all right. right so, so there's this, one more. This is another one? This is, um, this is not for... I'll read this one out loud to you. But um, this is... Um, a scene that comes out of nowhere. The whole movie is just racial, um, racially driven. Okay. And I'm gonna constantly be asking you, what do you think happens next? Okay. In this scene. Okay. Day of the Rugby World Cup final, South Africa, New Zealand, South Africa is these big underdogs. Wait, 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 wait. Is this still part of, like, the trivia section? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> yeah, good, so, good. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> just making sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, it's, it's like a three-part trivia today. It's it a big, great. it's no, corn I... fest, you know? <laughs> <laughs> fest, festival, you can't, you can't have one thing at a festival. Right? People will laugh. The leave. Like, the, it'll be it'll be boring. And, it would be and boring. And everyone who is listening is probably like, bring on the next thing. <laughs> probably. It's a corn fest. Yeah, it's a corn fest. You know, <laughs> we've told you if you didn't see Invictus, skip ahead. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, so yeah, um, aerial shot of Johannesburg Day, vast city seen from the air. Zero in on Ellis Park. That's the place. Okay. Uh, so interior, uh, 747 cockpit day, co-pilot, final approach, captain. Let it be noted that I'm taking control of the aircraft. Okay. I assume full responsibility for what happens from now on. Duly noted. Okay. Now we cut back to the stadium. Okay. Okay. Every seat's full in the stadium. Um, Jason, remember him from earlier? Nervous bodyguard Uh, guy? Okay. Uh, he goes into his radio and he says, do you see that jet to the east? Because you see the jet kind of flying down into the stadium. And um, uh, the person who he's talking to goes, did they get clearance for this? Not from us. What, what do you think is going to happen? So based on the newspaper delivery thing, mm-hmm. I'm going to say that Jason is going to think that this jet's going to 9-11 all over this like stadium yeah but uh can i say 9-11 on like a pot? It's, yeah but jason is gonna try to get uh nelson mandela out of there mm-hmm. but mandela is gonna be like no we gotta see this oh by the way in the script it does say this is pre 9-11 you can totally say that oh okay, yeah yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah okay. like in parentheses like, all right like just yeah um yeah so uh but but the jet's actually gonna clear it and Mandela's going to seem, like, so wise for choosing this day. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um, is that is that on the money? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, but it, it kind of comes out of nowhere. <laughs> and, and Jason's like, get him out of here, now! And Mandela is just kind of hanging out, and the person goes, no time! And nothing Jason can do but hold his breath as... The captain drops even lower. Oh, oh my goodness. Shit. Jason has to fight down some impulse to flee. Uh, and then everyone in the VIP box sees the jet and they all stand. Captain's going, captain says full throttle. And uh, the captain and the co-pilot go full throttle, yank the 747 straight upwards. The almighty roar of full throttles fills the stadium as the 747 passes less than 200 feet overhead um so on the wings is painted good luck baki which is like the team and and that's the scene oh wow right i'm glad i didn't see this movie (laughs) this sounds really bad and everyone cheers everyone's like yeah 
Wow! Oh wow! That's, yeah. So uh, two hundred feet. That that's not much. That's no. Like... <laughs> this is pre nine eleven, so yeah, people it's... didn't know to where planes were. Yeah. Or... <laughs> yeah when whether they should get clearance. <laughs> yeah. Or not. Yeah. Maybe maybe he's just landing. <laughs> well, that that cuts to the sequel, Sully. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, uh, that was uh, Clint Eastwood presents Cornfest. And that's the end of our trivia segment. And now it's time for Game on the Spot. So with Game on the Spot, we've been getting a lot of feedback that we come up with too many drinking games and that we should yeah. focus less on drinking and more on uh, just ways to celebrate the holiday yeah and fair enough yeah you know? i mean we, we uh i mean we appreciate the feedback and we will adjust for our viewers yeah uh we are nothing if not uh able to compromise yeah absolutely but what better way to celebrate a holiday with a nice uh, toast <laughs> to the good the good man Mel- nelson mandela yeah, you know. so so get out your your your, your milk based beverage. Yep. Or your wine. Or what was it called? It was called a, a marhu. A marhu. So get out your marhus or, or your, your nice wines. Yeah, depending on which one you have. Because he was a wine enthusiast. Absolutely, was, it's yeah. only natural and, and take a long sip for, for Nelson Mandela. Uh, ninety nine seconds, because he's been here ninety nine years. Yeah, so so mm-hmm. uh, about a minute and a half, for a little more. <laughs> yeah, uh, of str- you might want to get out the bottle for this because <laughs> yeah. because uh, one glass might not cut it. It probably wouldn't cut it. All right, you know? so, so that's our first 90, game. That's our first. No, that's, Ce- that's our first that's celebration because we're changing up this segment. Yeah, you know? so it's not going to be about games. It's not about game entirely. Yeah, it's yeah. about celebrating the holiday without with, focusing around without games. focusing around games. You know, maybe you celebrate like if this is a hockey day. You yeah. know, you have to you have to play some hockey, right? Um, but it's Nelson Mandela a day, you, you gotta drink you gotta, for nine seconds because he was such a good wine enthusiast, right? I or mean, or Marhu, or a Marhu if you can find it, you yeah. know. I mean, preferably Marhu, yeah, preferably because that was yeah. his favorite beverage, right? Right. But if you can't, if you must, go with the wine. Yes, and um, there, there also if you do the wine, that's fine. You yeah. know, he was a wine enthusiast. Right, exactly. Like, I don't, I don't think it was uh, been said yet, but he, he was a wine enthusiast. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, when I think of Nelson Mandela, I think of two things. Wine enthusiast, and then leader of South Africa. Like, like, and that comes second. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, definitely. And the Mandela effect. And the man. No, 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 no. no. Well, now, no, now it comes no. to mind. If anything, I would think about Black Caesar, the famous <laughs> African you, pirate. Don't forget to vote. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, yeah, look. I, okay, well, next week. Yeah, 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 this, yeah, this week is I, not I, I'm game sorry one. for bringing it this, up again. This week was I, not I, game I'm, one. It's the competitive nature of me. And it's okay. That's fair enough. Next uh, week, game one, by the way. A quick ad. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, so, yeah, we'll take a segment brief, series. brief pause <laughs> <laughs> of the to game. talk about the world. Yeah, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, so, uh, first uh, game off the top of my head. First mm-hmm. way to celebrate there, the second holiday. Way, second way to celebrate yeah, the yeah, holiday. Yeah, yeah, Second way to celebrate first game. First game, yeah. Uh, is have a wine taste off with all, get all your buddies around. Yeah. Uh, have someone be the judge. You, you get some wines. You cover the labels. You pour them in. You, you smell them. You taste mm-hmm. them. See if you can get the year. See if you can get the type of wine. Uh, it doesn't matter if you've never tasted them before, but it's it's all part of the game. Closest person. Mm-hmm. Uh, loser has to like closest person wins. Loser has to finish the bottle of wine no uh i i've got a fun little so in south africa you know on on uh july 4th they have another holiday um they have a big celebration on the coney island pier uh and it's how many hot dogs can you eat oh yeah okay because nelson mandela was such a big wine enthusiast you know right he, he was could... a big wine <laughs> yeah he was wasn't he uh you you get out a big palette of different wines to try and you see who can drink the most wines in an allotted time and that that could be 30 minutes 
that could be five minutes, but we're going to suggest 99 minutes <laughs> because <laughs> Nelson... 99, yeah, because yeah. 99 years old. 99 years old. Really, it should be for 99 years, mm-hmm. but that just doesn't make sense. That wouldn't make sense because yeah, Nelson Mandela didn't even live that long. Yeah, for And real. I don't even know how you would judge live that. Live for a further 99 years if you're old enough to drink. Right, but we're not going to tell you how to play all these. We're not going to outline every little rule for you. Right, right. Yeah. Part of it is that you... You get to uh, experience it for yourself, flesh it out for yourself. Yeah, we're just the brainstormers. Right. We're we're here as the artists to inspire, you know, just like Nelson Mandela was for all those uh, wine wine tasting uh, men and women and not children. Definitely or, not. Children. Definitely not children. Uh, At least twenty-one year old individuals. Yes. If you live in the U.S. Or eighteen year olds if you live anywhere else. Pretty much anywhere else. Sometimes <laughs> sixteen. Like, like South yeah. Africa. I, I don't know what the drinking age is there, but I bet that's where this hol- this um, the, holiday and these games will really pick up. I mean, I, some say that that's why Nelson Mandela was such a big wine enthusiast was because of his. Uh, his South African growing up, you know? Yeah, yeah, that's that's true. That's like making, being able to grow up in South America. <laughs> Africa. <laughs> South Africa, excuse me, <laughs> just just guarantees that you'll be a wild enthusiast. Yes, yeah. uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, so another game should be uh, today, on Tuesday, mm-hmm. get arrested and stay in jail and see if you can beat <laughs> Mandela's. Mandela's record. Yeah. So now he was in uh, in prison for 27 years. Mm-hmm. So uh, that that's the goal, ladies and gentlemen. So it would be to break 20. And it's not... And he got released kind of... He was a good guy in prison. So you have to do something that gets you arrested. But like you can't commit another crime to stay in the cell. Or right. maybe, yeah, uh, if maybe, you only get I, sentenced... I mean, as long as you're in prison. Once again, we're not going to flesh out the Yeah, 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 fair enough, fair enough. Like, yeah, just as exactly. long as you're in prison for more than 27 years, uh, then you, you've you nailed it. If you're listening to this in prison, uh, you can... You can, it starts it, now. It, start, it doesn't include what yeah, you've already done. Yeah, because you didn't know about it. Yeah, you, know, you, you didn't do a, it for this holiday. But if you continue to stay in prison yeah, for well, another 27 well years... Well done. Yeah, you know? yeah. Um, and Good for you. if you want to add on another little uh, rule... That you know you can play with, play without. You know it's up to you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, is get elected leader of the country that you are part of once you get released out of jail. Right, right. Mm-hmm. Which is really tough. That, that's probably one of the toughest games that we've come up with. Yeah, uh, but very fun. Yeah, you know, very very rewarding if you do it. Uh, you know, uh, a fun Nelson Mandela fact mm-hmm. is at his funeral. Mm-hmm. Uh. You know how there's a uh, different kinds of uh, sign language, like lang- languages for like deaf people, like using sign language. Mm-hmm. There's like the like British way, and there's like the American way. Mm-hmm. Uh, so apparently, at Nelson Mandela's funeral, they hired someone to translate for the deaf uh, using American sign language. Right. And the person they hired didn't actually know American sign language and just faked it the whole time. And did they get away with it? or No, they, okay. they found out. But it was too late. He'd already done it. Yeah. So, uh, so that, that should be another game. Like, uh, go and see if you can fake knowing American sign, sign language. language. How long can you go yeah, fake yeah. an American sign language? Talking to deaf people. Yeah. Oh, always a fight. I think that that's a... That's a that's solid a, That's a solid game. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right, so uh, now it's time for uh, Soapbox. Yeah. Our, uh, we each get a minute Soapbox, and then... And then we're, we're, we'll wrap it up. Uh, do you want to go good. first, Tom? Sure, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, start uh, me off. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, so uh, recently, on a July 7th this year, Ringo Starr, for his 77th birthday, released the title track to his upcoming album. It's called uh, Give More Love, I believe. Mm. Uh, it's coming out in September. But anyway, if you haven't heard it yet, it is it is fabulous it, it is amazing uh he collaborated with uh, paul mccartney to make it so you know it's going to be a good one uh it's 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 catchy it, it's modern 
but it still holds the classic Ringo sound that you know and love. Like, you ever hear Octopus's Garden? Don't Pass Me By? All classic Ringo songs. Um, and don't even bother listening to Give Me Love by George Harrison. Because <laughs> they're not similar at all. Uh, but just stick with the better one. Give more love. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that shit tune. The, the Harrison one. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, no sorry. No, 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 no. The Ringo one, one is, uh, is solid. Is solid. In, uh, in fact, uh, no, well, we, I we can my minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, you I, did I, use yeah. your minute. All right. All right, that Otherwise, I'll gonna... play a little snippet. Just look it up online uh, right. on your favorite uh, media uh, outlet. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> usually, uh, usually I'd cut you off, but it's such a good song. Oh, yeah. I think. Yeah. I had to yeah. finish that up. Uh, okay. Um, I, I'm ready for my little <laughs> minute. All right. Uh, ready? Uh, okay. And down. Three, two, one. Um, so about Invictus, I think it could have been a really, really good movie if it had been cast right, you know? So I'm thinking about remaking Invictus in 10 to 15 years, and we'll get Cuba Gooding Jr. as Nelson Mandela. You know, Morgan Freeman looks nothing like Nelson Mandela. Uh, you know, cannot pull off the Mandela look. I don't know what they were thinking. You know, we need a good actor. We need freaking Cuba Gooding Jr. to step in. You know, he will sweep the academy awards he's gonna i mean what hasn't this guy done he's got food and emporium or, or uh and enterprise cuba gooding's food and enterprise he's done movies he's he has a wife he's got kids he's a loving father um now you know who else was a loving father nelson mandela Okay, you know what Cuba Gooding Jr. likes? He likes a good glass of Chianti. <laughs> you know who else enjoyed Chianti? The wine enthusiast known as Nelson Mandela. I, I let you run over just a little bit so you okay. can tell everyone about the wine. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Uh, in case they didn't know, you know. So I, I like how you have uh, Cuba Gooding Jr. replacing uh, Morgan Freeman as <laughs> yeah. opposed to uh, Matt Damon. No, 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 that wouldn't make any sense. I mean, he would, I, I, I would imagine Cuba Gooding Jr. I mean, he, sure, he could pull off being an athlete, but that wouldn't be, Yeah, and you know. I feel like Matt Damon did a good enough job as it was. Um, yeah, yeah, and Matt Damon, I would want to return. Yeah, re reprise his <laughs> yeah, role. reprise his role. Right, so, yeah. <laughs> Okay, um, so that's our third episode. Thank you, Nelson Mandela, for all the good things you have brought into our world. Uh, we should really come together today and have nothing but respect for the man known as Nelson Mandela. I mean, if if this episode has taught you anything, that's what we hope you take from it. You know, oh that, yeah, that you have to respect and respect. appreciate Nelson Mandela as an individual and a hero of our society absolutely so uh thank you for listening and see you next tuesday. tuesday wow we've sure been getting a lot of emails for ads for our show but who knows how long we are going to be able to read all of them tim and tom's tuesday is the new thursday is growing at an unimaginably quick rate and it's only a matter of time before we won't be able to weed through the massive amount of ad emails for our show so please, if you have something you need to promote, email TuesdaysTheNewThursday at gmail.com ASAP! That means as soon as possible!